Hey everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today I'm going to review the Renee of Paris's Dakota style. It's in the color Ice Blonde. Find out why I think this longer style is so wearable coming up. Dakota is a medium to long, heavily layered style, very flattering on everybody that I have seen that's wearing it. So the ice blonde, just in case you haven't seen this before, is a very ashy blonde, just a true ash blonde through and through, a uh, little to no warmth. In fact, it may be coming across as a bit gray. I assure you there's no gray in this style, although it would be an amazing transition color from blonde to gray. This is a combination of a dark ash blonde with some uh, pale ash or platinum highlighting. It is not a rooted color. Dakota features about an eight inch fringe area here, so that's gonna stretch below my chin. Now this is almost a little shaggy cut in that there's lots of layering to come together uh, to frame the face. Uh, so I'm about six and a half inches from hairline to chin. So those layers start hitting me right around six inches. And it has a very manageable front I think, even though that's probably an eight inch layer there. So I purchased this style for my own personal use from Wig Studio One. Expand the description box below to find all the links to this style, all the colors in even more detail. If you have any questions about this style or Wig Studio One, they're always ready to help. You can email support at wigstudioone.com. So I've had this style a few weeks and I guess I really wasn't intending to review it. It was just more or less for my personal use. Uh, so right out of the box, I just began training that front piece to uh, go back and away from the face and that created a little bit of contour here. Now these fibers are very, very baby fine. So it's a little more difficult to get um, it trained up to do that. But just that repetitive motion could and should be enough to get a little bit of lift and bring it safely away from the face. So on this style, you do have a temple to temple lace front and left monofilament side part. The lace features are really gorgeous. Sometimes with Renee of Paris, it's hit and miss. The knotting is very, very fine, which I think lends itself to the beauty and invisibility of of that lace front. The grid that they're using on that monofilament lace seems to be very fine as well. That's my widow's peak sticking out there. And then the left monofilament part goes out just nearly back to the edge of the crown. And it's extremely obvious that there is a very fine fiber on this. It's just baby fine. It's almost like a silky corn silk. That lends itself to a beautiful density. Um, there's plenty of hair here, but it's not so much. And again, I think that's one of the reasons why this is so wearable. It weighs about four ounces, okay? But I think most of the weight is probably uh, in the cap. But um, it's super light feeling on my head in the feathery, silky movement of these fibers. So the things that I think make this very wearable in any kind of climate would be uh, the light, wispy, fine textured fibers, the realistic density, and the, la the realistic lace features because you can put it up off of your neck and away from your face and it still looks beautiful and realistic. As you can imagine, it is very light on permatease as well. There's just enough permatease to obscure wefting. I think the most permatease you're gonna find is just right here in the back, just above the nape, there's kind of a strip there. And that's just to help hold the style, give it a little bit of lift back there. Because these fibers, because they're so light and fine and wispy and feathery, you're not gonna see a lot of body to them. So a little bit of permatease will go a long way to uphold a style and shape.
So outside there's a bit of a breeze going today and you can see it just fluttering around on these layers. I haven't noticed any tangling at all on this style, even though it's a fine longer fiber. Okay, let's take a look at this cap. Here's a look at the inside of the cap for Renee of Paris's Dakota. There's a temple to temple lace front. It does not extend back into the ear tab, moves seamlessly back into a left monofilament side part that nearly reaches uh, the crown. Some permatease there. A felted ear tab with lots of fiber spliced in there. I love when they do that. It creates some beautiful coverage in hiding those ear tabs. Nice sturdy stays. There's just a standard velvet nape on this style with bra strap type adjusters. I feel like that's average right out of the box. Um, I had to cinch it in quite a bit to accommodate a petite average circumference, which kind of leaves those uh, little straps dangling there. We could either sew them in or cut them off a little bit and tie them somehow. So let's do some styling for Renee of Paris's Dakota. Uh, this is right out of the box. All I did was kind of train it a little bit with the heat of my hand. There's no product in this set here at all. Uh, the, the glasses fit wonderfully between the ear and the ear tab on this style. It's very light on permatease um, in that area. And it would be easy to just kind of rest your glasses right on top. So I think I'll just take you through a couple of simple styling techniques for Dakota so you can see how it moves and reacts with styling. Thanks so much for joining me today for a look at the beautiful Dakota by Renee of Paris, shown here in Ice Blonde. Be sure to expand the description box below to check this style out at Wig Studio One. There's a coupon discount code there as well. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.